Okay, everyone, welcome back. <clears throat> this is a continuation of my practicing Brian fundamentals. Um, basically, at this point, to give a quick recap, uh, now about a month ago, Peter Y. Mao, if y'all remember him, he is a wonderful content creator uh, who made some excellent Brian guides for Tekken 7 back in the day. You can go check them out on YouTube. Um, he gave me a pretty good coaching session where he pointed out a lot of the things that he thought that I could do to improve and gave me a list of them to practice one at a time. So, to recap, they were using down four more and figure out the situations that arise from that. Down back three more, um, figuring out also how to use generic down back four, but not as like a, you know, super key neutral move, but just like figuring out the situations you can use it, figuring out how to play in the close range more so that I don't freak out, but also so I'm not just like running away the whole time. Like this isn't, this here isn't really neutral. Like, this isn't really neutral, especially for us. It may be for other characters, but it isn't for us. So, like, being comfortable with actually playing neutral. And then finally, uh, relying less on sidestepping. So, sidestepping randomly will get you blown up a lot, so figuring out how to use it less so that we panic less. One of the themes here is that we use a lot of big moves, typically, and learning how to play more compactly and more patiently. So, um more patiently while also using pokes to like further our offense. So today what I want to do is try putting that together. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to see, because one of the mistakes that I feel like I've been making with these pokes is I've been too aggressive with them. So it's like, I have an unknown opponent and I'm going down four into down four. Or down four into dash down four. And they hop kick and I get blown up. Or they're going to press. So what I want to do today is try and use these pokes as the same way that I would use back one. So in back one situation, I might default to this, but a lot of the times I just block. That's what Jimmy does. Jimmy treats back one like a mix up for both players. So we're gonna try and do that. We're gonna try and use these moves, use down four, down back three, down four two as well, um, even down four one, and then jab, and then four three. Probably. Forward three, forward three and back one are turning into actual like bigger moves, so like maybe maybe not forward three for this example. But we're gonna use those and see what the opponent does. We're gonna try and discipline ourselves to do it into nothing and very quickly try to figure out what that pattern is. And if we see it twice in a row, we need to start like punishing it. Um and figure out what type of player are they gonna be. Are they going to stick to it or are they going to adapt? Um the last thing that I wanna touch on real quickly is that all of these kind of have the same answer uh, against the same player in the sense of we should be trying to evaluate if we're on defense or if we're on offense. If anyone here is familiar with Magic the Gathering, there's a concept called who's the beatdown? Essentially that, who is defending and who is attacking. And if you misunderstand your role and you start, for example, I'm using keep out moves constantly against someone who's playing defensively. They're gonna whiff punish me because now my keep out moves are bad offense, right? Meanwhile, if I'm attacking too much against a character that is faster and better at attacking than me, I'm gonna get blown up because I'm using small moves, I'm using greedy moves to try and get in, right? So that will also be a theme of what we're trying to do today. It's a lot, maybe it's too much for me, we'll see, but we're gonna go ahead and give it a try. And of course, we will probably go back to revisiting playing with only down four, playing with only down back three, etc. But, you know, I think rotation is healthy. And also, getting getting blown up, getting like launched and stuff is going to be okay. That's something also that I'm get trying to change my mindset on. Battle. People get launched in pro level play. That's not because they suck. Likewise, it's okay for us to get launched. We're trying to avoid it, but it's okay if it happens. It doesn't mean we messed up, necessarily. Back up, do a jab, and back. Down four and back. All right, side step. You see that? Back in, side step. I think he ducked. Is that what they did? Jab, jab. Jab, up. Oh, okay, nice. They're very patient, though. That's what I'm noticing. Gosh, that throw is too fast. <laughs> okay. That move, by the way, I labbed it. Brian needs to do mock punch. <clears throat> he cannot get anything else. Alright, we're gonna do down four and down four. Oh, shit. He blocked it. I tried to cancel it. That's okay. 
Pretty cagey though. Oh man, I won't. That's okay. Just need to know that's the distance of it. Oh man, see, I sidestep there. Let's try and sidestep a little bit less against this character. Because a lot of the, either that or we're sidestepping the wrong way. I press, okay, I pressed the button there. I think maybe sidestep left is incorrect against Victor, but let's try and just sidestep less. Okay. I was trying to catch that um, power crush. Oh, nice. I tried to do the same thing. Oh, man, there it is again. That's all the miss. Oh, I got this. Okay. It's all right. It's all right. They're pretty. So, one thing to point out: in the first two rounds, they were the defense, and then when they get into heat, they're the offense. I don't think that's like you know some sort of like earth-shattering or revelation, right? But it's something. It's worth thinking about. They like to sidewalk there. So that means we're okay to just wait a little bit. We don't have to press our offense that much. Nice. Don't sidestep. Hey, what's up, you? Exactly. <laughs> I think I think my suit does give uh, Wolverine vibes, though. More down back three would be good against that um, power crush, though, because it's a low, it's a high crush. Nice. Stay standing here. Now I'm gonna jump. Yep. They've done that a few times. We need to be paying attention to that stuff. Back up. Do you this? Nice. They don't press there. I don't know how... The most honest? I don't know if he's honest. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Again? No, mid, okay. Stay on the ground for a half second. Oh, I probably could have punished that, huh? Again, I sidestepped and got in trouble. So at least we're seeing it, right? Exactly. I'm gonna say I want to be careful here because of that power crush. Nice stuff. Exactly, no pain. This person's stubborn. I don't know if they're stubborn or if it's just something they really rely on. Nice, we'll take it, I guess. Nice. Hey, look at that. Bit of a... Uh... Nice. Bit of a... Uh... Improvement to that situation. It is quite spammable. It's a high and it's really good. 
I don't know what the frames are on it, but it's either not very minus or it's plus, which is nuts. But down back three is good against that. So we're gonna use it more. And down for that for that matter. Down back three also tracks pretty well. Okay. Nice side one. You see that? Back one's a liability here, I think. In this situation. Oh man, I did three plus four. Alright. Let's try this lead with it. Oh wow, they stepped the northern cross. That's crazy. Okay, and I'm pressing. This is on me. And that's a pretty good choice. They've never done that. Well, actually, maybe not, because their heat was running out, right? No, that, they let it rip immediately. Never mind. I never wish you luck whenever you're learning. Oh, that tracks that way? Oh, wow. Alright, they're just doing the mids now. Wow. Hey, yo, Poppy, how's it going? Welcome back. That was pretty difficult. Um, but I felt pretty good with what we were doing. We were like using our, we were trying to use our pokes to get in. I would say that we were, whenever we got like about here, we were in danger of being power crushed. And I think we came to a correct solution of doing the down mat three, but then it was like, we didn't pay enough attention to what they did after that. So we weren't able to like transition that into more down force to like, extend the range a little bit but also i don't think we want to be that far away battle. from victor i'm starting to realize victor's got longer moves than us it's like playing against noctis so fang on the other hand being further away is good so i think fang the goal is to get to the full down four range okay oops it's okay yeah they like to do eyes yeah, they do highs and lows. The pulse stream was really fun. Um, we got to uh, what was what was that rank? The red rank? Remember this? And I feel like I understood them a lot better. So I played against some pulse later off stream, like yesterday and this morning, and uh, I felt like I finally knew what was going on in the three. Get him off of me. Do a down four and back up. I honestly thought it's because they were gonna duck. Jab, down four, back. They jab, they dashed in. You see that? Side step after four three. Oh, nice. Jab now because they might come in. Jab. Yep. Nice, duck. Back to the Brian party, yep. The old favorite. I'm a little bit worried. Oh my gosh, I ducked a little bit. I did a side, not a side step, a back swing. Right, just a good old frame trap at the end. They do seem like they're pressing. Not very pressing, just a little bit. Nice. Okay, 
Okay, nice jab. Dash it. Honestly, think doing jabs at the best is not bad, you know? Oh, that side set. Down back three is probably a little bit better in the close range. More risky, but it's better because it tracks in that situation. Oh, I linked it. This is not good. Oh, and I ducked. Okay. Good stuff. Honestly, I thought he was going to go for, like, down back three or something. Or the, a health suit. Alright, do nothing. They did nothing. Back up, did nothing. Back one. One plus two, because they like the sights up there. Oh, I tried to a little. Raw shoulder. Um, I don't think it was a terrible idea. Oh my gosh. Wow, that's, um, not minus 13. What is that? Probably minus 10. Oh, I forget that down four whiffs in that situation. Raw shoulder there, too. Oh, we almost had a pick up there. Notice how they're blocking a lot now? The lows? So we need to mix in more hits. Okay. Nice. Wait, that's not my heat. That's my rage. Oh, man. Back one's minus 10? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hard to react to online, though. It's safe in heat? <laughs> I feel like that's a theme. I don't think that's... I mean, that's just a theme. Round one. Yeah, it is. It, like... It's, like, got the randomest range. Alright, so they're not doing jab-jab. Which is still not... A mix up. Let's see. That was really lucky. Jab? Nope, they, they're backing up now. They're playing more, uh, cagey. And they're also liking to sidestep at certain ranges. So we're gonna try and, uh, take advantage of that. Oh, we had an idea. Ooh, nice. But I know about that one. Uh, my counter hit back one's an easy one. It's a knees, dash, jab, uh, then back three, two, four. And then you just do a normal linger at that point. Thanks, Mizu Pixels. Yeah, we're trying. Trying to get better. That's a high. Are you really testing me? Round three. Fight. I really don't care about those. To be honest, if I'm not pressing, it's not scary. Ooh, that's scary. Also, one thing is, um, is, uh, 1 plus 2 in this game is slower, I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm pretty sure it was 15 frames in 7, in Tekken 7. It's like 17 or 18 frames in this game. They actually nerfed it. I didn't realize that. And because of that, if you're trying to catch a sidestep and you need the fastest tracking move, you should be doing mock kick in this game. Because it is faster, even though it's a high. But it creates more of a reason to use it if you, like, compare the two together. Especially since, in the past, it was like, oh... You know, they're about the same, but Mach Kick has a higher reward for being a high. That's kind of how they keep it, like, worth using, I guess. Nice. They're really trying to play Keiji with us. They're still playing Keiji, you see that? They did a sidestep after that one. <laughs> exactly, no pain. <laughs> they 
They actually just stayed there. Alright, they like to... They like to down forward one into a side step. Okay, you got me. Oh, that's dumb of me. I really don't need to block these down back threes. I keep... I really want to, but I don't have to. Oh my gosh, the whip punish! After Wedge Driver? No. It's just super plus. But, uh, it's not the same as Taunt. So, like, Taunt is true plus, right? Counter hit sidestep one is also true plus in the sense that if it's so plus you can fit a move in, you can fit a move in. Wedge Driver is fake plus. It is so plus, but only if your opponent is pressing. Otherwise, otherwise it doesn't matter. Okay. Oh, nice. At least that's how it was in 7. If I'm wrong in this game, maybe. But that's how it was in 7. I was just gonna say, there's, that's aerial, so there's one less hit there. Nice! What did he say? Oh. Hi. <laughs> Demotion buff. Sure. I wonder if that's a setup. Let's not test for too much. Nope, it's not. I wanted to see if they would do down back three like every time, but they do not. Woo, gotcha. Ooh, it's not fast enough. I tried to do a track move. Nice. Oh, wait. I suck. That should be safe, I'm guessing, if it's anything like 7. Oh no, that setup is killing me. I just need to duck the high. Because they're- or, or just don't press. They're doing that setup into, uh... Oh my gosh, no. They're doing that setup into sidestep popcake. Oh, nice. We're gonna do this. Just to get health back and everything and get a better situation afterwards. And now we are in heat. Things are relatively equal. Oh no! But I'm good! <laughs> we did it! <laughs> Thank you. That was crazy. That was crazy. Haskashi, only mighty ruler indeed. Lucky, lucky, no punish. <laughs> Thought I'd be Fujin by now? Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not that good. Um, I would say that uh, we've been practicing getting playing better though. So we've been giving ourselves a lot of challenges and we've been losing a little bit more than usual as a result. But, but, I don't think that's like worth it. That's not an excuse to cope about not being Fujin. Like, if we're Fujin, we're Fujin. And if we're not, it doesn't matter. Like, <laughs> we're just trying to get better. Morong's pretty scary. Let's try to use down fours a lot. Oh, shit. I say that because he has a lot of uh, power crushes. Why did I do that? I should have jabbed. If I want to check them, the cleaner one is jab. Okay. Nice. Does this work? Alright, this gives me time to think about it. So... He had the kicks that was like high, high, like punch, high roundhouse, roundhouse, jumping what looks like a mid. So we can't. We'll have to 
I don't think we can duck that and get something super good. Oh, that was really lucky. See that? Oh, you have an arcade stick coming in? That's awesome. Oh, AO Poppy, it is all highs, okay. Those jumping kicks are so, like, deceptive in this game. I don't feel, they, I don't feel like they're consistent across characters, so it's hard to, like, know for sure. I have a feeling you're gonna press. Oh, you got me. Oh, shit. Back one spikes? If I'm in the air? That, oh my gosh. We're getting destroyed. Wow, that's a low high low. What was wow. Yeah, being high makes it a little bit easier. Well, that was pretty nutty. That was crazy. Okay, they're doing back one there. Oh my gosh, that works too, I guess. I was trying to do mock punch, but I think our, um, <clears throat> I actually, I feel like I need to figure this out because I feel like Brian's regular power crush, the forward one plus two, when I do it accidentally, it comes out faster. Like the power crush activates faster. And I know power crushes activate earlier in this game, but I thought that, I thought that mock punch is supposed to be a, I thought that mock punch, the power up is supposed to activate very early too. But, and become a power crush with this, like, you know, extra power crushing to it. But I don't know what that is. And it feels like I get stuffed more often than not when I go for the mock punch. And then get it expends my charge, so I know battle. I did it. So I don't really know. Um, I'm gonna have to lab that. I honestly don't know the difference. But I feel like Brian's power crush is actually better than his mock punch for power crushing. It's just the feeling that I'm getting. And I could be wrong. If someone knows, if someone has, like, the, the data there, I would love to know. Ooh, that's, I'm an idiot. Jab? Nope. They stayed. They stayed right there. They didn't. They didn't go anywhere. They just stayed. Let's try again. Yep, stayed there. And then they pressed. Okay. Oh no! I thought I broke it. Oh, we're dead. We're dead. <clears throat> Very interesting playstyle here. They, um... Fight. Oh, nice. Wow. Okay. Okay. We got some data. We got some data. The first one is that they're going to power crush as soon as they get the chance. Or they're going to try and reverse us as soon as they get the chance. The fact that they did that and I ducked is making me upset. <laughs> that should be minus 14. Alright, they're not using a lot of lows. It doesn't matter if they use lows anymore. If they keep using lows, I don't care. That's okay. I literally say that and then I ducked and got hit by a mid. So I'm like, like, on one hand I didn't listen to my own advice, but on the other hand, I was correct. You know? They are using, they are playing the game of, I'm going to annoy you with little lows, and then I'm going to hit you with a big launcher. This is the down four, down four, down four orbital of this character. So we're just going to wait. Oh my gosh, I don't care about that. Nice punish. Nice. Yeah, see, they're not, they don't like to open themselves up to lows, I can tell. They only use it when they think we're not going to press anything. Oh, wow, that's a funny setup. I don't know if I can get out of that. I don't know if you're noticing, there's a lot of sidewalks happening. 
Nice. Right down four. Down ooh, nice. Set. Okay. This is pretty difficult. This is pretty difficult. But I think we kind of oh, I don't quite like that. That's like minus twelve, I think. Okay, that's a one break. I did just didn't press anything. Oh, we got something going. I don't know what to do in that situation. Like, there may not be some anything we can do after the uh, slide hits, which is okay. I think that makes sense. Oh man, that was that was a blow up. That was a blow up. I feel like I don't really know what happened. I feel like they just. I think we just got maybe float hard. Yeah, he's a dragon. I feel like what happened was they just did this. And then as soon as we cracked, they orbitaled us, and the next battle. We, we got blown up, and that was just happening the whole time, and it was happening so fast, and it just worked. It's best to also be aggressive, Jakarty? I don't know. Have you ever played Magic Gathering? Have you heard the concept of who's the beatdown? Oh shit, I'm off into it. Now, that doesn't mean don't fight back, right? But what I mean is that you should be, if they're playing aggressive, you should be playing keep out. Because Brian wants you to play aggressive. He wants you to play, he wants to play keep out against you. So that's kind of what I'm trying to say. Like, not playing aggressive doesn't mean don't press buttons. But I'm saying you should be trying to not, like, chip them away with lows and stuff like that. You should be trying to, like, catch them with, like, orbitals and, like, forward freeze and, you know, your back one equivalents. Oh, man, why did I do that? Ooh, execution. It's easier in this game. I think there, you can buffer the forward and the neutral in this game. And then if you, uh... And then if you press the port afterwards, it comes out. So it's a lot easier to confirm in this game. For punishes too, I, I tested it. Let's try a down port. Oh, Try it again. They ran away because they're back turned probably. All right, they're playing that game. So what we can do, actually I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to do because he, he pulls back afterwards, right? We may not have anything. Maybe just don't let him get that far away. Maybe we don't let him get that far away. Because I think we need to be close to them. Because he's playing that, like, super far range, like, run away. So I do think that when someone is playing, yeah, that, that was the answer, I guess. They're far away, right? So we're just going to get up on top of them. We are not doing a very good job of playing the theme of this video, which is uh, more scouting. I think we are we are very, very much paying attention to what they're doing, but we're not necessarily using a lot of our moves that allow us to, like, get that scout going. They blocked it from there? That's nuts. Is that the first lucky? Oh, what did I do? I think I did back dash cancel later. Just duck in my face. That's fine. Hoskashi, I think Victor is super cool and super strong. I just wish they would fix his throw. I think that's the only thing he has that doesn't need to be the way it is. Oh my god, we got him. No, we didn't get him. We're dead. Round two. 
fight. Yeah, they're playing really cagey. They don't want us to be right on top of them, so we're going to be right on top of them. Let's try some down back three situations against them. There we go. See, they're afraid. They don't like it. Have I met any Leroy's yet? More than one, more than zero, but not that many. Wow. They like this side step. I do not, Hugh. I play on a freaking 1080p monitor with high, like, with high response because I was a dummy when I bought it. Um, but I also don't play much besides Tekken, so it's like, for the longest time it didn't matter. Hey, there's nothing wrong with that. You should do that. Oh man, he, what did he do? He backed up and did it? That makes sense. He's got a fireball. Okay, I just realized something. Nope, didn't work. They like to use that, like, sequence afterwards. Ward 3 feels like a viability. Okay, let's see what we can do. Okay. Let's be careful here. Oh, look at that. Whoa, we were an idiot. Oh, man, it worked. Yeah, exactly, Hoskishi. We got blown up by it in that one sequence. Side step after that. We should stop frame trapping too much against them because they really like the sidewalk and use more 1 plus 2 in those situations. Because they're not pressing a lot of the time. Oh shoot. That was bad of me. Look at that. Forgetting he's got a slide after that. That's I saw someone do that, and I was just thinking about like, oh, he's gonna use his plus friends to do something. Maybe once he runs up, I'll rage art. And I was like, no, 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 he can just do it. Oh, that's good to know, no pain. That actually that does make sense. That does make sense. It's kind of like what was it, four two out of Noctis and Kuni the the Kunai? Wow! I did quarter circle back two, and it caught me. And you didn't even see it come out. They like to duck, see that? They're doing sidestep duck against me. And he's gonna be fun. Not for the defenders, but he's gonna be fun for the people playing him. Oh wow, okay. That's an interesting setup. I'm not very familiar with Raven in this game, but we're gonna learn. Alright, I think I'm getting a feel for when they like to duck against me. So we're gonna try and abuse that a little bit. Down four? Nope. Yeah, they're very aggressive. You see this? Honestly, Orbital's really good against them, I think, because they keep doing this, like, like, poor man's wave dash in our face. Nice. Good choice. Quarter circle forward, one plus two? Same idea, probably, but even better reward. Why did I do that? They're 
very aggressive with that. have good wall game. Is there a benefit to using down back two over one plus two one to start combat? Get yes. Ready for the next um, battle. Down back two hits lower. Down back two is uh, pretty much, when you play against characters like Eddie and Chao Yu, this move hits them. In their AOP and relax stance, this move picks them up. Especially Eddie. This is your scoop move. Do you remember, um... I don't think it exists in this game. Let me get him to stop uh, side rolling. Maybe it does exist. Let's see. See? Yeah, to start combos. But so, sorry, I know he means combos to you, but I was using that to illustrate, like, when you have situations and combos where you're worried that the one plus two is not going to pick it up, down back two is going to pick it up every time. So down back two is your, Can I don't know, I'm going to use down back two and it's going to pick him up. That's basically what I mean. I was just using that as a way to illustrate how low the hurt box is. It's crazy low. Um. Right. Alright, what did they do? Nothing. They just stood there. And then they did a sweep. That nastiness. Look at that nastiness. The trolling Yoshi. No, 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 no. It's okay. Let's try back one. Ooh, it just works. Okay. What I'm doing is a minor slide step there, so it like is more aligned. Nice stuff. I have side stuff. That's bad. Oh, that's what it is. Wow. Yep. They're very pressing. We've already learned. They did a sweep after a down four. They did a hop kick there, and they did a. Uh... Oh, nice. I did a orbital. And then they did a um... flash. So those are the three options we've seen. Most of them we can block. Oh wow, that's there a lot longer. I tried to punish it. I really want him to do it, but he's not going to do it. Oh, no! Oh, nice. That's a scramble. It looks so much like a 1 or a 2 break, but it's a 1 plus 2. Yeah, you never know what they're gonna do. 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, fair enough, fair enough. We dropped that uh, jet upper. We probably would have been really close to winning, if not actually won it, winning that round, if we had uh, not dropped it, which is okay. That's called practicing doing combos under stress. So we'll be fine. Nice. I got too close before I did the down four. They're really not doing anything yet. Wow, nice. He went over the three plus four. I was actually too shocked to do anything. He did that, he did avoiding the public and just, and just sidestep. And now he's just trying to just with this stuff. Nice, okay. I was like, I'm really afraid to like frame trap against Yoshi as a result, but I think I should be thinking about frame trapping in situations where they're not thinking of them. Like that one. But they all do it after forward three and back one, so let's just keep thinking about it. Yes, it does hospital shade. It's a mid. Sort of. Oh, man. Okay, you got me. Nice. But, yeah. I think this type of situation is a good example of, like, when they're playing that aggressively against you, you do need to figure out an answer. Because the, you have to be thinking about what they do and maybe doing less of that back one situation. Because the problem is that... This is not advantage to us, in the sense that we don't really have anything close to universal against it. We already did it with sidestepping, but now, in addition to all of that, Flash breaks whenever breaks our attempts to frame trap them. Maybe we could use jabs, but the problem is that now, once we stop pressing after, they get a free mix-up. Player. I love that. Uh oh. This is a little bit uh choppy at the end there. Round two. Fight. Yeah, like I6, that breaks the whole situation. It trades with jab. This is crushing. Why is this friendly all of a sudden? Why did I duck? 
This is crunchy. For some reason. Got him. But it's crunchy. the worst connection we've gotten in a while and it, there's nothing about it indicating why it Get should be bad the next it was just intermittently choppy the whole time alright I feel like we are still trying to figure out how to put everything together I'm not using enough down for two Let's start with the simple stuff. PC issue, probably? Very possibly. Maybe their uh, hard drive was doing a backup or something. The thing that was weird is that even the indicator on the side that shows PC load, even that wasn't turning red. And that was what was so weird about it. Is this the same player? Did we get scammed? Get ready for the nope. next okay. battle. Tax evader. <laughs> No pain. Yeah, me too. I think that most of the time it's been good for me. Fight. Like, that felt like a Tekken 7 game. Alright. We're, honestly, we're trying to read them in that situation. Down fours are good. And they backed up afterwards. They're pretty, uh, KG. Pretty sure I can uh, launch that. They press after down for two. And remember what I said, I'm not supposed to be forcing that issue. I 
try to duck the high. Didn't expect them to actually do the, the headbutt there. I don't think they know. In the sense that they I don't think they understand the risk, maybe. Oh, I blinked it. Uh-oh. And I keep walking into stuff. It's too bad. Okay. That's good. Wow. Wow. Okay. I sidestepped, I'm pretty sure. I sidestepped. Do four into half. Oh, really? Like standing four? Really? <laughs> On one hand, I'm like, wow, it's high. On the other hand, jab works usually in other games, so it's like, it makes sense. Oh my gosh. Let's be careful with uh, fake pressure afterwards, though. Honestly, if we just block, they're not gonna... If we just block, what are they gonna do? Oh, you got me. Wow. Nice. I also forget that people have rage arts even though their uh, health is coming back. We might be dead. No, we're not dead dead, but we're almost dead. Oh, that was a good chase. Okay. Whoa, I must be slow. I honestly did that because that should be a punish. It's minus 12 and I did 10. They are just kind of alternating those back and forth, from what I can tell. See what I mean? Wow. That distance, too. Does this work? Okay. Okay. Down four back up. They did nothing. Okay. The hard part is linking the hitting the first bound four is gonna be hard, but afterwards they, they pretty much just let it happen. Someone pointed out that I don't do that enough. I could have done that there. That's actually probably the best pickup we can do. Yeah. See what I mean, though? It's like, oh, they look aggressive. We're going to hit them with a different frame trap. Oh, I meant to do, uh... I meant to do mock punch. Also, they like to duck and do that uh, that uh, while standing punish. So we should be trying to use a little bit more mids. Like we focus a lot on our low pokes right now, but we need to remember to enforce with mids. That's like Brian 101, and I'm not doing it a lot. That's cool. I'll honestly take that. Now I'm not against the wall.
Nice. They got me. So this Reyna really wants to stay far away. So I wonder if I can get, get up on them. Get up on them like this and then like force some more situations. Because you can kind of sense like some fear. Nice. Also, let's take her turn back with downpour too. I'm not, I didn't say that, I thought I need to. Okay, that, we let it rip and we got rewarded, but could have done a safer mid, I think. Sidestep getting us in trouble again. I showed her the duck there so that maybe she'll do it next time. they run away the whole time and then we were not well enough like chasing them down so i think that was the mistake that we made remember how i said earlier that we need to evaluate if we're on the attack or the defense we're on the attack in that matchup we were on the attack by the end because they were just doing this they're like basically here being like i'm not playing neutral with you i'm gonna run that's something i like to do and then they'll then they'll be like big move from from there right from downtown Get ready for the and to deal with that you need to force them to fight you got to force them to play <clears throat> and we did not do that Round more one. aggressively moving forward there would have been good fight. down four they did nothing they backed up down four nothing they ducked actually That sucks. <clears throat> nice. Does this pick him up? Please, please, please. Yeah! It won't kill them, I don't think. Nope. But, it's down to a pixel. I threw it away. I threw it away. Round oh man, two. I threw it away. Fight. Let's stop doing that. Nice, we walked into it. Did we block that? Not minus 13. Or I'm slow. Lots of hard wheels, that's okay. Nice. Down four here. Nice. And you notice I missed the punish? Round three. Fight.
Round four. That was scary, Fine. but we have a few things we can use here. I want to just kind of try and push them back. Plus, they like to use that cartwheel to try and keep us honest. Down three plus four, two, for now. Until I figure out something better. Round one. Fight. Do a move. Okay. I'm starting to see a lot of eyes, so I'm gonna look for those opportunities. Seven. I need to do a 13 frame move there. Oh no, that's a hive. Not a hive. It's just there. We can just punish it, I think. Okay. Let's do it. Nice. Probably should have done something else. I thought I was supposed to. That because they like to press there. Oh, nice. What the hell? doing a very good job at practicing what I said. Battle. So let's... The common theme of today is like, I get... I think if I have too many things to focus on, if I have too many things to focus on, I don't focus on any of it. Seems to be what's happening. So let's try and come up with a plan beforehand. Or re... Recreate the plan. Just do it again. And be like, alright, we're going to start the round by backing up, and seeing what they do, and then coming in, trying to fit in a down four. Battle. And then from there, we're going to see what they do. 
Round against Kazuya, we can even lead with a down back three. Fight. Jab, down four. Jab. Down four. He came forward. They like to crouch a lot in this matchup, so I think down 4 is not bad. Down 2 is even better. Nice. Nice. They like to do that move after our um, back 4 is messed up. Wow, that worked. See, I keep sidestepping and doing it again, and I keep getting caught by that, so I need to somehow get myself to stop. Wow, it worked! there. I guess I don't have enough time. It is like plus 17, I think. So, that was probably, uh, probably foolish. Moyashi, how's it going? Welcome back. Round one. Fight. Down four, back up. Press the button, you see that? Nice, because he wants to press. Wait a minute, I can freaking punish them if I can do this. Round two. Fight. Shooter looter, it's going okay. We are trying, so basically I've been practicing my small check, my small folks. I've been doing a lot of videos and streams where I only like focus on down fours and stuff. And basically, this is my first time I'm trying to put it all together. Nice. And it's hard. I'm gonna try and get up out of the way. Wow, that range though. Nice. That was the triple hell sweep round, sure enough. Oh, he beat my jab. They don't like that move. Nice, there it is. That's what I said. Oh, that's 
that's not a pickup, huh? Nice. This is a good connection if I can do that. I do it twice in a row a lot. It's an electric mentality. Nice. Nice. Gotcha. Yep, Ryan does uh, Brian does have the worst jab in the game. Well, it's the worst jab hitbox, but I think it's one of the fur further reaching ones. So it's like this paradoxically like super high jab that goes pretty far. So it's like really weird. Round one. His jab is still critical to his game. Well you just make do with what you have at that point. Look at that, this person. He's ducking in the neutral because he doesn't want to deal with it. We're almost losing. We're fighting. We're battling it. He really led with that. Good. Oh, I should have done the other one. What am I doing? What am I doing? Is he plus on that low elbow move? Uh, probably. It, to me, I think of it like a hatchet kick. So I think he's plus. I could be wrong, though. Well, wrong combo. I don't know what to do there. Threw it away again. Could have, uh, could have rebounded like that. Frame trap with a uh, Fujinaraka. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense to me. Hey, he's right here. Let's see. Uh... What the heck is the input? What the heck is the input? Down one plus two? Oh, because down back is something else. Okay. Yeah, it's plus three. Because the, this frame here is Brian's frames. So that's, uh, it's plus three. I also swore I did down one plus two, but I guess I did it. So I was just like, I'm out of inputs. What is it? <laughs> Should be minus 13 on block. It might be 14. Um, it's not 15, from Get what I know. For the next battle. I mean, yeah, Moyashi. Also, lots of characters have options. Yeah, like, they can just hop in. Fight. Wow. Playing like that, I see. There's a hot kick. Press nothing there? Press nothing? No, you press a jab. I guess if I hold my ground, I'm okay. Nope. If not. Actually, I should be forward a bit, I think. Okay. Wow, that worked. Wow. Round two. Yeah, no fight. They've kept his weakness there. Which is good. Wow, he delayed that. What the heck? That's so slow. Very strange play. It's not that weird. Oh, 
nice jet up or not. Oh wow, we can block it I think? Yeah. Wants to save me by killing me, exactly. That, um... Wait, that's not Midas? Is that not a hop kick? Look at this, it's working! Oh my gosh, it tracks. Here it comes. Yeah, here it comes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's unreal, though. You see how many of those down force were working? They don't know what to do. There's the jab, though. Oh, I pressed. Incurious, how's it going? Got him to start chatting because of it, because it's funny. Alright, so down four is really good. I'm gonna start by saying that. He's probably it's probably the most sleep slept on move in Brian's kit. As far as uh it's really slept on, and it's really good. Oops, one sec, let me try and win this. Okay, so. You poke with it, yes, but there's a plan behind it. Because if you, um, it's zero on hit, minus 12 on block. Maybe, yeah, minus 12 on block, I want to say. It could be 11, though. And the idea behind it is that when you hit with down four, it Round pushes one. them back. So let me see if, Fight. see what happens when I, uh, do a, like, jab in this. See how far away she is? There's nothing she can really do fast that's like gonna reach me like range wise And because of that what you can do is you can do this you can do this into jab You can do that into jab and there's not really anything they can do And then meanwhile if they just do something more slow and some advancing move you can uh Do down four into down four. You see that? I beat her out That time it was because it was a high crush. It's still a mix-up, but it's like Think of it like back one good, right? And then at the same time, compared to back one, you're actually chipping them. You're chipping them, so it's gonna get annoying. Round two. Fight. That is not a reply to you, Jab. Um, Dave. So, so in this game, Ryan's mock punch is not his four four two is not a power crush. Not by itself. It is a, um... So, it is a heat engager, engager, but it doesn't have uh, counter hit properties. However, if you have Snake Eyes, it becomes... It, it becomes a Power Crush, but with, like, slightly better. I don't know, but what I was saying before is that I'm not actually sure how it compares to his new power crush, which is Ford 1 plus 2. Um, but it's supposed to be a better than usual power crush when he has snake eyes. And you at least get that like cool animation when you do power crush for like more damage. So it's, it's not good. It's not good, but man, my uh, my heat went out before I could actually use it. So yeah, his normal power crush isn't great, but it does feel like it comes out a little bit earlier. But I think um, like I'm not, I'm gonna have to lap the difference. I can't tell you like if Brian's like the Snake Eyes mock punch comes out faster as far as the um the uh, crushing frames, but it's supposed to be a stronger than usual power crush. I just don't know why. Wow. Oh, we suck. 
had my whole plan too. We are pretty close to Fujin. It is the next rank. Get ready for the next battle. What we could do though, is we could try and set. I don't know how to do it. Punish? And then go to punishment settings and record. So let's see. So if I do this on block, and I have if I do this on block, that that punishes it. If I do this on block, it also punishes it. Okay. What if I do something else? So that's plus five. What if I do jab on block? Wow, that comes out fast. Let's try it again. Let's try, uh... So, see that? Oh, wait a minute. It did come out. What the heck? I have no idea. But, um... We have to do minus frames now, probably. Mayashi, maybe. <laughs> I think... For the next I think battle. there's less... There's more new players in Tekken 8. It's, um, there's more new players in Tekken 8, so you can kind of just hit people with knowledge checks in a pinch. And then also, everyone else is doing the same thing, and if you actually know it, if you're a legacy and they don't realize, you can kind of get a lot of uh, mileage in that situation. What did they do here? They moved forward. So to beat that, you just do it again. Um, and curious, you're asking if it's 4, 4, 1, plus 2? Yes, it is. And it's plus 5 on block. I forgot to mention that part. That part's pretty good. Okay. Oh, nice. Interesting. But yeah, the armor makes... I don't understand. But it being plus 5 instead of uh, four, the 4, 1, plus 2 being, like, minus 6 or something... Maybe worse than that. Nice. Yes. It's for it's kinda like it's kinda like entering a rage shard. Not a rage shard, rage drive. Oh man, that sucks. I was gonna say you wanna hit me with these. Being able to to use snake eyes to like close distance like that is pretty good. Nice. They're trying to open us up. something weird okay I didn't think they were just gonna go straight into the heat smash there so that's why I did that oh nice sights up there okay we're pressing Didn't even mean to do that. Didn't even mean to do that. If we had landed that top, that would have been sick. See, I tried to do my uh, my snake eyes there, and it didn't come out. So I don't really know what the what the logic is. Nice. Okay, they got us. They ran us over, but that's all right. 
So, they are, they have assumed the position of offense. What that means is that we're going to win more if we are going to switch to small pokes. Round small one. pokes and keep out. So like orbital, Fight. down four, jabs. And hatches are not really going to get us a lot of uh, mileage. Okay. He does back up there though. Can we do it? Oh, nice. Back up into uh, low grade is pretty good. Oh, I did a lot of the on the dummy. Wow. Nice. Not, not a lot we could have done. We could have stayed on the ground. His wall pressure is good. I can duck that. So like I said, we're going to play defensively against them. We're not trying to... Uh, we're not trying to, like, beat them out on a lot, a lot of stuff. We're just using our moves as, like, a get off me. And that'll work. So let's see until they start playing defense. Jab. Two one whiffing as an ender. Oh, back three forward. Well, yes and no. If you if your combo is too long, it's gonna whiff, right? In addition to that, wow. In addition to that, um, if you do the combo that I'm doing. You have just enough time to do it. Because for me, it never whiffs. So, in my combo, you need to... There's two ways to do it. The one that people will tell you is that after your tornado, you need to sidestep. Do it off-axis, and then it's consistent. For me, what I do is I do a dash forward and wait till the last second to do the back three. Like, their legs are about to hit the ground, and I'm about to lose it. And that's when I do my back three. And that works for me. See how I kind of stand there for a second? Granted, that time it didn't work. But that's the idea. That's the idea, at least. Round two. Fight. And yeah, the 2-2 the two -two version... The 2-2 two -two version, on the other hand... Nice. Uh, it's very consistent doesn't matter here as much. So when you're in doubt, do the 2-2. Two -two. Plus, it's better OP. But see how I'm just standing there? Nice stuff. Wow. Yeah, exactly. The small side step right is probably the correct way to do it. I just learned it wrong already. Fight. We're just waiting for them to give us the game because they're doing a lot of moves at instant highs and stuff like that, and we're just gonna look for it. I don't 
have um, snake eyes. I thought I did, but that was rage. You know what we need to be doing is down back three more. Oh, I did down back three there. What happened? They got us. I think... I think we should have started pressing more. I think I should have started pressing more because they were starting to stand there and just do hatchets. And I think at that point we're getting run over. But... But... I think we had the right idea all the way till the last game. And then in the last couple of rounds, bad stuff happens. Oh. Bad stuff started happening. Oh yeah, let's figure this out. What am I doing? Wait, why did I do that? There. Okay. Cool. So now let's do something that's minus five, maybe. Yeah. Maybe just just this. So that doesn't come out. What about this? That doesn't come out either. Hmm. I don't know. What else is a move we can do that's like minus? Get ready yeah, I don't really know how battle. quickly it comes out. Like, it seems like it comes out if it's plus one, they're like equal. So maybe it's coming out at the same time. Round one. Five, Steve. In general, down back three is not bad in this match of us because it's going to go a lot of go down, go under a lot of his eyes. But also, down four is good because we're trying to keep him out. Yeah, it might be the case. Okay. It's okay. Does this not work? Wow, it did work! I thought he was gonna do smash afterwards. That worked. Unreal. that we're up close and doing something different is important. Got me. Oh. Whoa! What did he do? I guess he just went into duck stance in response? Quick stand. 
Nice stuff. They backed up there. Oh my gosh. Wow, nice sidestep though. Nice sidestep. Not sidestep. Nice, uh, what did they do? They, they backdashed. Heat bound, sidestep right, quarter cert. Heat dash, wait a second. Is that assuming that I'm straight on or am I already off axis? Distance jab is okay. Nice. I don't think I understand the combo. <laughs> but I think I also think I kinda get what you're saying. You're basically saying you can do a uh, requiem linked. Like you can use the heat dash to do it a second time in combos. Is that what you're saying? That's all I need. I don't need to figure out how to read the notation then. <laughs> wow, that's dumb. Okay, it's... 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 Jab? No, they still back up. No, oh, they didn't. Bit of an adaptation there. It's working out for us. We're essentially just we're essentially just trying to kite them where they're down for us, and then use that to our advantage. We can also we don't have to do we don't have to get it right every time. That was a mistake I used to make with my back ones. Is that you don't have to guess right every time. It's not necessary. It's just catching them doing one thing isn't good enough. They let us drop him by the way. Oops. Nice. You can tell they don't like that move anymore. Sidestep right double knees work for low parries. Probably. You probably don't even need to double. You probably don't even need to sidestep in this game because in all the other sidestep combos, you don't have to do it anymore. Okay. I'm gonna give myself some time here. Try and set up a situation that we know about. Like, for example, there they like to duck. Round three. Fight. So he's kind of high up right now. Oops. Nice. Oh, wow. That's pretty funny. Nice. I want that distance still. Whoa, that's normal. Is that a heat thing? Oh, he 
does it again. He does it again. Okay. Good to know. Extended quick spin into lower high. The extended version has powered up versions of the normal one. Mid, lower mid. The extended version has powered up versions of the normal one. Oh, you're talking about his uh, Albatross Get low, right? For the next battle. I did notice that he had that. Yeah, he has mid follows, I think. Yes. Yeah, okay. Turn this back off. I think we, I think we believe that it's uh, coming out on frame eight now. Gotcha. Good to know. That's crazy that it knocks down now in this game. That's scary. Not to mention he has um, he Get has like for the next not battle. right step, but like whatever his right sway is. He's got right sway shoulder into a high now that looks like it's plus. Round one. All right, we get to play against the Fight. boogeyman. Oh, I'm so glad I can sidestep again. Wait, he can do that out of standing? Okay. We do not want to give Dragon off too much space because he can now while running too with open timing. So, not to mention, if we get counter hit, that happens. Unreal. Oh, it was low carrying, but I let go of it. Full crest down. Gotcha. Let's try and play close range with him. Oh, didn't work. Not that close range didn't work. I'm saying that they managed to get away. Oh, I'm really disappointed with that. Nice. We won the scramble. One that's not a high though. Wow, you got me. While running two down two. They're using a lot of crazy moves though. They're doing the freaking backswing blow as ball pressure. So we just need to launch this stuff. Spacing is horrible. It's like all of these are leaving me in situations where he doesn't even move, and then my my uh, while standing three even is getting uh, stuck. So it's like something to keep about. Think about. I don't 
it's not a oh wow this is broken or something this is more of a wow he's got good range on these moves we should be careful fight so does wall does down two give me crouch still yes it does okay that's a classic Notice how I kept doing the string even though uh, the ball animation was happening. That was pretty interesting. The wall broke as I was doing it. Yeah, let's get him to beam honest with these advantages. It almost worked. It is minus 14 still? Okay. I figured. I knew it was in 7. What the heck? I hate Brian's jab sometimes. <laughs> and we're going through the throw gauntlet. They're testing us. <laughs> nice with sidewalk. Wow, did they went that direction. That's not even my weak side. I think I did down one plus two instead of Requiem. Yeah. Mm. Wow, I just did it. Okay. Do this. Wow, the sidestep was sick. Do you think the, pug the jab's bugged? <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty crazy. Because, yeah, like, there's these really wild situations where I'm just getting, like, blown up for jabbing. What the heck happened to that? Press spread. Oh, no, not like that, though. That's wild. And I thought it was a connection thing. The wall's not there. I knew it! You're greedy! Drag's heat smash goes under it? That's ridiculous. Wall running two. His heat smash wall running two goes under it. Unreal. Round one. Yeah, that's crazy. Fight. Me basically raging is really funny to me. Not raging, but just like unhappy about the situation of it. It's really funny to me. I don't remember. Oh, dang, I blinked it, I think. Do an ugly combo because I was afraid. Alright, we got one. Aggression at the beginning. Wait, no, I did a down, did a dash cancel. Not a dash cancel, back dash cancel. Can't side, step that way. Okay. 
Nice. They want that counter hit real bad. <laughs> you can tell. You can kind of, you can sense it from them. Remember how I said, who's the beatdown, who's the, the defense? Get ready for the, next the other thing that we can do, and this is something that I didn't touch on, is that we can redefine what that is. Not always, but sometimes. So for example, plus five. Now, if I want, I can beat the beatdown. Especially if they're so used to being the offense there that they start pressing like greedily. Now we're the beatdown. We get to loop our offense. We get to keep get like for the next throwing battle. our offensive sequences at them. Okay, last set. We got three minutes. Round left. one. Fight. Red boy for life. I was like, is this June or is this Asuka? Okay. Did nothing. They back up there. Oh man. That doesn't work. <laughs> Your hatch is plus seven, but it's also launch on block. It's a Fokker Rump hatch. You can't can anymore? But you can uh, duck it in response to the low. That looked like the beginning of a... Uh... Wait, I'm playing against June. I was like, that looks like June's move. And then I realized it is June. It's not Asuka. Wow, oh, I suck. Nice try. They're playing him like Asuka. That's why I'm so confused right now. Oh my gosh, nice stuff. I'm dead. You can't parry airborne attacks. Oh. Wait a minute. How do you beat stuff like, uh, King and King's Dive? You have to block it now? Do you have to block King's, like, dive kick now? Not his dive kick, but you know what I mean, where he jumps and lows you from the air? Can you not parry that? Round one. Fight. Down four backup, yeah. And low parry king's drop kicks. Okay. Maybe that one hit the hit comes out when he's on the ground. I see, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good to know. Like I, I can I can that's actually like I can actually believe that with that still being like consistent, right? Oh nice. Is that plus? I think she's just uh ballsy. Finally a good combo. And then we drop it. I'm cursed. I did the hard part and then I didn't do the freaking machine guns. Oh, I love that. Yeah. <laughs> I love that no pain. Exactly. Just let it rip. Should have done something better. 
but yeah, just let it rip. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Well, this was pretty good. That was, um, I would say that, I would say that we didn't do it perfectly, but I feel like we actually were incorporating the new stuff into our game plan a little bit more. Not a lot, but a little bit more. <laughs> Veters with the swag too. That's awesome. <laughs> I was I'm pretty proud of those emotes. But anyway, hopefully this was really helpful for people, or at least a little bit helpful for people, and kind of like shows where that progression is supposed to be going. Like you don't you don't have to let go of your other sequences. The thing is, we've gotten this far with like our own style, and that's still there. It still works on people. We're just deepening our gameplay so that we have even more cards to play in this metaphorical card game. You can tell I'm a Magic the Gathering player, right? Like, from the, in the past, like, oh man, removing cards from your opponent's hand by blocking things, who's the beatdown, deepening your own card pool or your move pool, you know, sequences. But anyway, that being said, if you're coming from YouTube, be sure and like, comment, subscribe to the channel. It really helps us grow. We really have seen new people show up, and if you ever want to watch it live, it's on twitch.tv slash Vaughn Tybin. That's V-O-N-T-I-B-A-N. We stream Tech and Brian on Saturdays and Sundays right now, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Central Time, so come check us out there. We're doing a variety stream right now on Thursday evenings, 8.45 p.m. to 10.45 p.m. Central Time. That's going to be alternative characters for Tekken, such as Paul and Dragonov, and just anyone that I am either think is cool or am struggling with so that we can learn how the character works and how we can beat it. Um, there's a Discord link in the description below. You can come join us there. Ask me any questions you have, or just come join our community. It's getting more and more people, and it's getting it's getting lively. It's the crowd now. But with that, again, thank you so much for the support as always, and I hope to see you in the next video.